Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Get Gaming channel, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to kill Knight Trek in Dark Souls on the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. Knight Trek can first be rescued from a prison cell nearby the Bell Gargoyle boss door by using either the master key or a hidden key found on a corpse in Undead Book. For this guide to work, Knight Trek must be rescued before killing the gargoyles. Once you have rescued him, kill the Bell Gargoyles and head back to Filing Shrine. You can find him sitting, staring at the Firekeeper just below the Firelink bonfire en route to the elevator that leads down into New Londar Ruins. Knight the Trek will actually stab you in the back later in the storyline and in doing so, he will void you access to the Firelink bonfire after you ring the second bell of awakening, meaning you can no longer save, restore or teleport there. The easiest way to avoid this scenario is to kill him in Firelink Shrine. To defeat Knight Latrek easily, wield your weapon with two hands and use a critical attack and stay close to him. In an effort to get away from you, he will backflip off the cliff, killing himself instantly. To get his loot, which includes the awesome Ring of Favour and Protection, simply press Start, quit to the main menu and reload. His loot will be there where he was sitting. As Latrek isn't initially an aggressive enemy, you can literally catch him off guard and kill him while he's just sitting there as a regular NPC. A couple of slashes with the critical button and then staying right next to him is all it takes for him to jump off the cliff and kill himself. If you choose to let him live however, then the bonfire will be extinguished after you ring the second bell of awakening. You will then have to defeat Latrek and two of his henchmen much later in the game when you are finally about to finish the long and Orlando side of the storyline. It really is much easier to simply kill him early on in the game and retain access to the very very useful bonfire in Firelink than it is to lose access to it for a large chunk of the game. That's all there is to it folks and I definitely recommend killing off Latrek at this point in the game as soon as he's rescued, simply because it will cause you way too much hassle and grief later if you let him live. I hope you guys find this short video guide helpful and if you do, please subscribe for more and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching my friends, Wayne here for the Let's Play Gaming channel, saying goodbye.